He's like a giant ugly blue Barney! What's up everybody, I'm Luke from the Master Sword Valley with another Minecraft mod showcase. And today I am doing the Pandora's Creatures mod. Now the Pandora's Creatures mod is basically a mod that adds in seven new mobs into your Minecraft game. All of them looking actually pretty cool. Like they, they would belong with like where like Pandora was and such and like ancient times and such. So first I'm gonna show you all the different mobs and then there's actually some crafting recipes I'm gonna show you guys. Now I'm gonna show you the crafting recipes after because they all require drops from these mobs. So uh, it kind of be like big spoilers if I were to show you the drop crafting recipes first with, with like the drops with before showing you the mob, like all the mobs and such. So uh, yeah, let's just get this started. Dear God, what are you? Okay, so I actually do know the name. This is the Arachnon, and I totally just didn't read that off the forums. Basically, this is like a, a you're a creepy looking golem spider made out of crystals. He's, he's kind of freaky there, but he will only spawn at night in plains and mountain biomes. And you kind of want to stay away from these guys because these are pretty powerful. I don't exactly know how many hits they will uh, do on you. I didn't test that out, but I'm sure it's a crap den because just look at how creepy these things are. Just the one eye and all the teeth and the crystal and such. God, you're creepy. But when you kill the, the Arashnon here, you will get, <laughs> as you can see, they seriously got some HP on them. Like, they're taking this many hits with a teardrop sword. Ugh, a lot. But you will get what are called the Arashnon crystals. And you need this for a uh, crafting recipe later on. So uh, yeah, that's the Arashnon. All right, the next mob we have right here is the Hellhound. Now, the Hellhound, as I'm sure you guys can imagine, can spawn in hell, basically in the nether. And these guys, they aren't exactly that strong, but what does make them dangerous is that they can actually spawn in packs. And you, they make some really, really foreboding at that point. So you kind of want to stay away from them. If you see one, don't engage it. You're probably going to die. And there's an off chance that apparently a wither one can spawn, a wither hellhound. I don't exactly understand how to get that and such, but apparently it can spawn. When you end up killing the hellhound, you will get a th two to three bones. It could possibly even be like four bones. Most of the time it's been three bones when I killed them. But uh, yeah, those are the hellhounds. They're kind of spooky. All right, the next mob we have right here, as you can see, is a little crab. Now, these little crabs will spawn in beach and in ocean biomes, and they're just kind of there for just little, uh, just there to be there, just be like little cute mobs and such. But when you end up killing them, I know it's very wrong, you will get crab meat, and you can, of course, eat this raw, or you can cook it to actually regain more hunger and such. So, uh, yeah, those are the crabs. Also, apparently, they can spawn in multiple colors, but one thing that's actually really cool about them that I just found funny is that if you set up a jukebox near them and you play a song on said jukebox, listen. Look at that. Look at that. They dance to the song. I just, personally, that just looks freaking hilarious to me, just seeing them dance like that. It's like that crab rave music video that's on YouTube right now. It looks awesome, and it's like, they're like the parrots that were in, like, the a newer update. I forget which update, but yeah. They will basically dance to music, and if you take it out, they'll stop dancing. So, uh, yeah, those are crabs. They're cute. All right, and the next mobs we have right here are the seahorses. Now you can see there, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of seahorses right in here, and uh, those those shaders effects look trippy. But basically, these guys will spawn in the water, of course, and they their potential to spawn 55 different seahorses basically they can spawn in five different sizes and ten different colors as you can see there's like a yellow an orange a green looks like a, a black one down there yeah they spawn in a bunch of different colors and when you kill when you when you kill one eh, eh, stop pushing me around stop pushing me around eh, you will get what is you will get a raw seahorse which you can cook and eat i don't know why you'd want to because look at them they're, they're cute why would you even want to kill them they, they look so adorable and they look so majestic as well but uh yeah those are seahorses and the raw seahorse yeah, just look at the solar size on that thing. <laughs> All right, and the next mod we have right here is probably my favorite in this mod. It is the Buffaloon. Now, as you can see, they look like giant buffalo, Then these things are actually very dangerous. They're kind of hostile on sight when like you first are to encounter them, but believe it or not, they're actually uh, tameable. 
All right, so like I said, these these buffaloons here are actually uh, tameable. When you hold this item in your hand, it's known as the herb bundle, and I'll show you how to craft that later. But when you hold it in your hand and you right click it, you will get on top and it, they sort of work like horses. So you need to get on them and then, and then just like keep, keep keep mashing E until they're eventually they're eventually tamed. Like, like uh, did, did it work? Did it work? No, it didn't, dang it. Come on, come on, come on, dude. Eh, come on, come on, can I please get on you? Please, please, can I can I get on you? Yeah, w when you're on them, you, you basically want to hold the saddle in your hand and put it on him. So now you have, you basically have your own, your own buffaloon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him out here because it's just so amazing here. There, like that. And we'll get on him and you can basically ride him around like, like, like a horse, like, woo! Woo! Look at me! Look at me go! Me and the buffaloon! We are going places today! Yeah! Woo! Oh, and on, on top of that as well, you can also put storage on him as well. So you can basically have him be like your own portable, like double chest, I guess. So, uh, yeah, is is very cool. I don't know how that thing is like sticking out behind him. Behind there, I guess it's just kind of attached to his tail or something. But not, but nonetheless, it's still really cool. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's buffling. It's, it's pretty neat. His name's Taurus. I like him. Also, when you're on top of him, in this interface, you can have him to just move freely, you can have him follow you, or you can just have him sit. You can just have him sit here, and you can see that that just looks completely weird, just seeing a buffalo sit there. But yeah, they'll just stay there. Now, on top of that, if you do, if you are able to actually kill him, which I'm not actually going to because he's just so majestic there, you will get buffalo beef and buffalo hide, which I guess, which you can turn this into leather, I believe, and you can cook this and eat this, and it's like the same as eating a cooked steak. But I'm not going to kill him because he's just so amazing. So I'm sorry, Taurus. You're just gonna have to stay there. It's just so beautiful, though. But uh, yeah, it's buffalo. By the way, these guys spawn in like snowy areas and plains. All right, the next mob we have right here is called the Entro. Now this guy is massive. As you can see, he's like massive. He's like a blue, creepy ape or something. He's He's kind of freaky, really. And these guys are really, really powerful, but it doesn't actually mention on the forums where you can actually find these guys. I think this mod was made like a really long time ago, and these were added in the 1.16.4 update or something. I really don't know. But yeah, when you when you kill them, as you can see, it have a ton of HP on them. I was sitting here wailing on him for like two minutes, and it was like taking forever. But when you actually are able to kill him, you will get it. Dude, can you just die? I like how he's was just sitting here patiently letting me just wail on him for like forever now. And he's just not even flinching. When you kill him, you will get this entral skin. So yeah, this right here is entral skin. And you basically need this to make a certain item. One of the items that is in this mod. But I'll show you that once I show you all the mobs. There's only one more left. All right, and the last mob that I'm going to show you actually can't be spawned in the overworld. It only has to be spawned in the nether or in a specific biome. So we're going to head over to the nether and we're going to- Hey, 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 hey what, what, are, what are you doing You can't there? exclude me from this oh, mod. Oh my god, so yeah, official. Yeah, yeah, can't oh, exclude me. Okay, come on, we can, we can talk about no. this. Come on. No, Why are no, we're there? not talking anything. What are you doing there? I can do whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. Ah, ow! Ah, ow! Ah, ow! Oh, oh, god. Friggin' silverfish. All right, so now that we're here in the nether, and I went ahead and spawned the last mob that only appears in the nether and jungle biomes. This right here is the Acidic Archvine right here. I just had to double check what the name was on the forums. I don't have it pulled up right here, I swear. But these guys will basically spawn, like I said, jungle biomes and in the nether, and they're kind of foreboding. If you are to walk under them, they will snatch you They will snatch you up with their tongue and like basically like eat you. So I guess we're just gonna, hold on one sec. Well, crap, the thing I was wanting to show pretty much knocked me out and I lost the mod showcase area. That's wonderful. All right, so the last mob we have right here is called the Acidic Archvine, as you can see, as you see right here. Now you definitely wanna, wanna keep an eye out for, for these guys. They they are uh, pretty pretty mean. Uh, I'm gonna go and switch game modes real quick. All right, all right, so I went ahead and switched my game modes and I grabbed myself a sword for this stuff, but I also have another item. This is called a plant hat. Now, I'll show you the crafting recipe for this in a minute here, but basically you use this to basically evade these guys. So, as you can see, we like, they'll grab you up with their tongue and you basically just wanna, and, it, and basically just start doing a bunch of damage to you. And when you kill them, you will get the acidic archvine tongue and you actually need it to be able to craft this plant hat here. So I'll just go ahead and put that on and let me get another spawn egg. All right, so I went ahead and spawned another one here and I went ahead and put on this, this, plant, this plant hat right here. And as you notice, it's not attacking me right here. Um, but if but if I were to take it off, 
it is going to attack me. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, God damn. So yeah, as you just saw there, they will suck you up with their tongues and start doing damage to you. And if you're able to kill it, you would get those acidic tongues. All right, so now that I've shown you all the different mobs that are in this mod, I'm going to show you the very few, the few craft recipes that are also in this mod. And like I said, you needed uh, drops from these mobs in order to actually be able to craft them. So yeah. Let's get this started. All right, so right here are all the different crafting recipes that are here in this mod. So the first thing we have right here is the Arachnon Hammer. Now this thing is very, very useful for mining. Now to make this, you're going to need five Arachnon Crystals, you're going to need two leather, one iron, and one teardrop. And as you can see, it's it's already a great deal because it, it requires a teardrop there. But you'll get the Arachnon Hammer. All right, so right over here, I have the Arachnon Hammer, and basically what this thing does is it mines out a three by three of stone and basic various stone things. So it unfortunately doesn't do it for things like dirt when you actually go mining, but as you, and it doesn't do it to gravel either. But as you can see, it's just digging through like, like it's nothing here, a three by three area pathway of just, yeah. This thing is very useful for mining, but it, it comes at a downside when you encounter dirt. As you can see, it does it to anisite as well. When you encounter like dirt or gravel, it doesn't do it to that. But uh, yeah, that's the hammer. It's pretty cool. All right, the next thing we have right here is something that I already showed you guys. It is the plant hat. Now to make this, you're going to need two of the acidic archvine tongues, which you get from those and killing them. You need one leather cap, three sticks, and three leaves. Now it doesn't matter what kind of leaves you chose. I just chose oak because I really like oak. That, what can I say? But uh, yeah, that will give you the plant hat. And like it says, it will be, will be invisible to the acidic archivines if you wear it. All right, the next thing we have right here is the entral box. Now this thing works sort of like a shulker box, but it's more like a double shulker box instead. So to make this, you just, you need that entral skin surrounding a normal shulker box and you get the entral box. And then you can just take the entral box and put any kind of dye on it and you'll get that colored entral box. All right, so right here I have the ent one of the entro box here. I just grabbed the cyan one out of this chest right here, and basically you open it up, and like I said, it's like a double ch double shulker box here. So I'm just gonna fill this whole thing up with a bunch of teardrops because that's just how we roll, you know. Just fill this whole thing up here, bam, just just like that. And I'll just put the rest in there, and then I'll go ahead and just do that. As you can see, none of this stuff fall out, so I could pretty much just take it, take this box over here. I would ignore that thing in the chat there, right there. I can just put it down and there is all my teardrops. So like I said, double shulker box, it comes in really, really handy. So uh, yeah, that's the troll box. But anyway guys, that is the Pandora's Creatures mod. If you like the commentary and are new to the channel, make sure you stab that like button and that subscribe button so you know when I post a new mod review in the future. Also, be sure to leave in the comments below about any mod recommendations you would like me to review next. I, of course, will always take you guys' suggestions. And while you're at it, make sure you check out the description below from things like my Facebook to my Twitter to my TikTok. I don't really post much on there though. I'm getting in the habit of trying to. And also, check out the mod down there as well. It's a really cool mod that adds in some a bit more of a challenge when you're just walking around your normal world as you don't want to run into those creepy things like the Irrationon or the Bufflon or something. But that's really all I wanted to say. My name is Luke and stay with me. Stay strong and feel the power. See ya! Finally, I have my own pen of Irrationons. We will take over the world! Yes! What did I even do to you?